Madrid, Brussels, Barcelona, Salzburg, Prague, Berlin, and Munich. Demonstrations continued across Europe condemning the death of George Floyd by a police officer. His death may have occurred outside the EU, but the European response to it echoes that in America, which has seen its worst race riots since the 1960s. These protesters are all concerned about what they say is structural racism in many Western countries. In Germany, thousands rallied on Saturday in Berlin, Frankfurt and Munich. Some people wearing masks bearing a clenched fist, which has become a symbol against discrimination. I'm here because of the protests, against police violence, and to support the flag to show. I am here today to protest for justice against the violence against black people. I don't see very much police violence, but I do see that black people are being treated than white people, which I don't think is fair or correct. Despite the large numbers in attendance, demonstrators largely obeyed social distancing rules in effect across Germany until June the 29th. Bundesliga footballers have also joined the Black Lives Matters campaign in recent days, donning slogans on their t-shirts and kneeling at matches in support of justice for Floyd. Protesters also gathered in the Czech capital Prague and the Austrian city of Salzburg. The European Union's own fundamental rights agency says, based on their own studies, that racist harassment, violence and discriminatory ethnic profiling are commonplace in Europe. There are well-known cases across the continent where people of different race have died while in police custody, yet no convictions have ever been made. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has called the death of George Floyd murder, adding that racism is something terrible. Berlin has become the first state in all of Germany to announce its own anti-discrimination law, which bars public authority, including the police, from discriminating based on background, skin color, gender, religion, physical or mental disability, worldview or sexual orientation.